welcome to another edition of Spit the Tea. But we try to give you the tea exactly how we got it. We spit it right back at you the same way. Girl, you got some tea for me? I mean... Alright, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get to this. This is crazy. As you already know, Queen did a video already talking about her new song or her song off her album. Too much to say. If it didn't do nothing else, it brought more awareness back to her album. And everybody got something to say. Chris, Chris Grandma, Chris Mama. Everybody got something to say. So, uh, another YouTube blogger, Thamus Bars, did a, I guess, a reaction to it. And pop, here come Chris Grandma. And it gets crazy. Let's get into this reaction of this. Quarantine me! Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to iterate on some things, a couple of things. You know, okay. um, a lot of people misconstrued what I said. Like I told you, that that was going to happen anyway. But mm -hmm. um, when I got on this uh, platform, I didn't go on here to bash Queen at I all. I, I didn't bash at all. But all. it's ironic that after I said or sung that song, it's too much to say, or I said it's too much to say, she drops a video later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, Queen live with me. I know Queen. I know Chris. Mm -hmm. I'm not on either one of them side at this point, but I'm going to say this. My grandson, didn't, neither did my grandson nor Queen drunk or smoke. You sure? Sorry, granted, but uh, Queen got a two year old. Uh, they was in Houston for several years, and the baby CJ is five. So I don't know when they live with you, but that's a long time to say these people didn't grow up and did grown and start drinking and smoking. Trust me, 21 hit, they pulled the liquor, and I'm pretty sure they hit some drink. And Chris admitted it in his song, so you gotta stop taking up for him. Mm, mm -hmm. they, were, they, were, okay. they were church going people they were funny acting and did whatever they did on youtube to just you know bring in the bag as they say okay um and that that right there i'm just really getting tired of it queen stop it stop it queen stop it if you were abused physically like you said by chris neither nobody was in that house but you and chris there was the police, 911. There is no report. Has Chris have ever beat you as you saying that he did? I can't say whether he beat you or not. And I'm not here to just take up for Chris. But what did you do? Woo, I know I can't be saying this. Listen, comment down below. Man, get y'all computer screens ready, y'all phones, y'all tablets, y'all remote control. I don't care what you get together. Tell me, comment down below right now. What does a woman have to do for a man to decide he's going to put his hands on her and hit her? Go ahead and drop that comment. Now, let me get into this. You can't restrain this woman no other kind of way than to hit her. What all could she have done? And why does she have to do anything to him to make him hit her? How come he just can't be abusive? See, you're taking up for him already out the gate, but you say you're not taking up for him. You're not on nobody's side. From the jump, the first thing you said, what did you do? You can't say that. You got to correct him for his wrong. He admitted it in a song, and he admitted it in a video that he touched this woman. Let's play it back. This is abuse. I have never, ever in my life ever just closed my fist and hit Queen. Ever in my life. Never. Never in the middle. Never. never the whole time. I have never. Not, not no, no, no. He said close my fist. Hey, nigga. They want to talk about abuse. Shit, let's talk about it. You got scarred from your past, so let's talk about it. I was young and insecure when I gave you them bruises. Well, I've admitted to it. Even though it wasn't no abuse to where, like, I punched, you know, a female or a closed fist, you know, but abuse is abuse. Even me pushing somebody, grabbing them up, that's abuse, you know. Mm -hmm. What did you do to provoke Chris? What did you do? Because, you know, Chris was not like that, period. Chris, and, and I want everybody to know, 
Chris didn't grow up seeing anybody being beat. Yes, Chris was adopted. No, we don't know his father. Yes, we know his mother, his biological mother, but he didn't get no beaten. I don't know what his father did, just like Ms. Byers say. It's a genetic, a generational curse on some things. But you have to provoke Chris to do something like that. Chris is not that type of a person. Now, I'm not going to say whether he hit her or whatever. He might have did hit her. He might have did. You know, but what did you do? That's, 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 the, that's the only point. What did you do? And if he was out there fooling around or messing around with a girl, he came in, you're going to hit him with a skillet. So what he, what, what he supposed to do? Are you going to hit him with a broom? Are you going to fight? So what he supposed to do? So if it was that, that. All right, let's get to this. Let's, let's go with her theory. Queen came at him for being out all night, unfaithful. She gets mad like most women do. Motions are very, very, very high. She go get a broom or she go get a skillet. And she's upset. She's trying to attack him. Let's go on the, on the grandma's side. Yep. Chris, Queen is so wrong. You don't never put your hand on the man without the consequences. Yes, we get that. But let's look at it like this way. Chris is six, three, four, or something like that. Queen is every bit of, what, five, two, five, three. I'm sure the weight is a lot different. So, you can't snatch a broom out of Queen hand. You can't snatch a, a frying pan out of Queen hand. You can't grab her and restrain her. Now, it's a lot of people. We Everybody get emotional. You First thing you do, because of how we grew up and how we was raised, we go and try to reach out and hit because we mad. But you can't take that, being that her punches can't be that deadly. Nothing could be that powerful as you are physically stronger than her. Obviously way bigger than her in size and in stature. But that is his reason for putting his hand on her. He's defending himself. Y'all coming down to him, what y'all think? Much of abuse with uh, physical abuse with Chris. Why didn't you leave? Why I didn't know about it, Queen? Why his mama didn't know about it? All you had to do is make a phone call. You know that, Queen. Come mm -hmm. on, stop it. All right, so let's take your theory again. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call me if this was happening. But this entire video, you've been saying he can't do it. What would you do to provoke him? And you know, and every woman's been through this, you know that the mama going to choose the son's side and everybody else in his family going to choose his side. So why would she call you again? Make it make sense, man. You letting your baby, you keep on saying, it's CJ, CJ. You letting CJ, you let this man keep bashing my son, grandson. You let the the social media bash my grandson. Then you get on here, then you act like you want to cry. And at the end, Miss Bars, you ain't even finished playing the video. Because she started laughing right after that. So this is the video we talking about? Did she not perk up? This is just somebody closing the video to me. Y'all tell me what y'all think. This is when she's a master manipulator. And now she wants everybody to feel sorry for her. Now, I understand about molestation. That 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 is a hard thing to deal with. But you didn't act like this when, when I know you. We didn't even know nothing about all this mol molestation. The only thing... Why would you know? The girl said... In the video, she just told her mama. So why would she tell you guys? But why would I tell you anyway if right now, at this point in time, when everything went sour, you go tell everybody else? Master manipulator. I don't watch you enough to care. Y'all coming down below and send me some videos. But the first time I ever seen this stuff going wrong is when Chris posts a video of this baby crying like he don't want to go home. And you tell me there wasn't some type of manipulation to the audience to say something's happening to him over at his mama house. And that's why he don't want to go home when they could be from you going from having fun to a structured environment. That's the only thing. And kids would do that. That time I found out that you was ever molested had um molestation um was when your best friend told social media and her name is uh uh angela cole 
She said you told her personally that your stepfather touched you. That's how I got out, Miss Burns. Oh, it's wow. on Angela Nicole uh, and they, oh, yeah, yeah. They, 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 I have they, I have that on I have it on my channel, both of them. Yeah. Okay, so if you go back on her video, she'll tell you, and they have another best friend. I forgot her name. Marquise they told her about the molestation. You know what yep. I'm saying? So I don't know nothing about that, Queen. We don't know nothing about you ever being molested. You never showed that trait. You was in love with Chris. So why don't you admit it? Mm. Admit yeah. it. You was in love with, with Chris. You love the ground Chris walked on. Can I? Oh, people fall out of love every day. This is too much. She did love him. You can tell from this picture here how she's looking in his eyes. But people will make you fall out of love. Chris started cheating and getting sloppy with it. She can't fall out of love with that. She has to stay with him and take all that. Oh, y'all killing me. I'm about to stop this video. I got to think I, I need to go to another point I thought I heard about. And then we're going to end this. This is too much. This is crazy. Look at the real deal. Because never my daughter nor myself ever put Queen down. No. We just call her out for her lies. Her lies. I, I may do a part two, just depending on how many likes this thing get, how much attention this thing get. But uh, it's kind of like his grandma being into everybody business, YouTube, she, Clarence, Chris and Clarence. It's just a lot of stuff, man. Y'all coming down below and tell me what I think about this video so far. <laughs> his grandma enabling him. Is, is his whole family enabling him? He can't make a change because it's always pointing fingers at, fingers at Queen or about what she's doing, not what Chris doing. I kind of don't know. I need some help. I really do. I need you guys to comment down below. I, I'm looking at all the links that's put in the bottom, and I'm coming on them. Can y'all show me exactly what she started having people bash Chris, or even how she manipulated the situation? I don't know. I thought it was pretty sharp, and I, I don't really watch her consistently, so I'm not quite sure if I probably missed something, but I really want to see some clips some videos and stuff like that. I know she kind of throw little subliminals here and there about stuff, but I seen him troll a lot when they broke up. I don't know. Somebody, I know somebody made a video about Queen manipulating. Now, I know it's a, she got a person that hate her the most and they made a whole video. I want to react to it. I want to look at it. I might be slow. I might be a little touched over here. Y'all comment down below. Tell me what y'all think about this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I should do part two. Cause granny went in. Y'all can go watch part two and tell me what y'all think about it. I'm out.